Hey guys, what I'd like to do with you all today is show you how you can remove Adobe software, all of its applications, Photoshop, etc., from your computer. And this will work with Windows and Mac OS. Now you can see I've got Windows here, so this is what I'll be showing you today. And it's a little bit squashed because I'm using my ultra wide display. Now, if you have an active Adobe account, an active Creative Cloud subscription, you should be able to remove it quite easily using the desktop app, the Creative Cloud desktop app. But problems arise if you don't have an active account. And this is where I faced this problem myself because I deleted my account a few days ago and now I can't remove their software. It's actually easier to remove malware from your computer than it is to remove Adobe applications. So you can see here, I'm trying to remove Adobe Bridge 2021 from my PC. And instead of, you know, just removing it like it normally would, it's bringing up the Creative Cloud desktop app. And after you sign in, you'll get a message that says, your personal account has been deactivated. Please review our terms of use and contact Adobe customer support if you believe this is an error. Now, as you can imagine, I was very unhappy about that. I was a customer for several years, nearly 10 years or so, and I spent thousands on Adobe. And as soon as I deactivate my account, I can't delete anything. And they're kind of overriding core Windows functionality. So that's a little bit frustrating. Now, there are other options out there. Uh, you know, th this is an example of one. This is Revo Uninstaller. Now, I've used this a lot in the past. This is a very good uninstall application. And you'll click to go through. You'll scan. And this will find all the registry options, etc. right? And it'll go through the whole thing and it'll tell you, you know, here's all the registry items. Do you want to remove these as well? Yes, I do. Try to remove these as well. And you'll get to a certain point. And well, I think we know what's going to happen here. Nothing, nothing happens. So basically what it will do is it will bring you back to this and it can't override Adobe software that's really, really, you know, they've really got their hooks into you here. Now, the other option, um, another one I, I tried here is IOBit Uninstaller. And this one appeared to be working okay. So if I take Adobe Bridge again, go to delete, this one actually makes you think that it's worked. But again, you can see it's popping up the Creative Cloud Desktop app. So it might go through and it will say you've successfully uninstalled a program, but it hasn't, it's still there. Now, if I go down and show you something else, for example, Proton VPN, which I've removed the other app for that. If I do that, I'll, un I'll, I'll uninstall this software and then the page will refresh and that will be gone from the list. But no Adobe software here has been removed. It will flash up the Creative Cloud desktop app. Nothing happens. It's still all listed there. So I've kind of exhausted all my options here. Now, I was complaining about this in social media because to me, this is ridiculous that they do this, especially, be, you know, when this is a, a paid product, a premium product. They referred me to this, the Creative Cloud Cleaner tool. And if I scroll down here, you'll see that this is available for Windows and Mac OS. So this is the file that you download and it will pop up here. So this is the, the app and you can see I want it in English, not Japanese. Um, yes to the terms and conditions that will... Okay, so we've got different options here. You can remove just Flash, you can remove Creative Cloud, you can remove CS apps, you can remove everything if you want. I'm going to go for the option one and try to remove it. Um, so now it's got a list of products installed in this machine plate. Please enter the, the option number of the product you wish to remove. Enter Q to quit. So one, yes. So then it's going to try and remove it. Okay, that's completed it successfully. So now it's quit. So you can see here that there is an option to clean all number 16, but one of the things that I do want to point out is when you remove one of the applications on its own, it doesn't automatically update here on Windows with the uninstall or change a program page. So I'll, I'll use an example, number five. Um, so number five. Yes, to confirm and press enter to quit. So I've removed that one version 11 and it still looks like it's there. But if I double click, you can see that it already has been uninstalled. So the next time you click on it, it will be removed. So if I click on it again, we're just going to go back through the same option as I did before. We'll do E for English. Yes. Click all. And then I'm going to go for 15 this time. Clean all the one down at the very bottom. 
and click yes to confirm. And that will go through and it will remove all of the applications. So it takes a little bit longer when you select the clean all option but I'll, I'll click enter to quit and I'll check this, that's gone. So I'm now just going through each of these and just selecting to remove it from the list, just to uninstall it, remove it from the list. And that's it gone. So if you look on the left hand side here, you can see that the control panel no longer lists any Adobe apps and it's the same story with any uninstall software that I check it with as well. Now, if you go back into the cleaner tool and again, select English, yes, and we're going to go to all again. Previously, we saw a list of every single Adobe application which was installed, but those applications are no longer there. So we're just seeing an option to fix the host file and clean all. So it does look like all Adobe applications have been removed from my computer, but if you do want to do everything properly, it would be prudent at this point to perhaps use registry software or uninstall software to do a scan of your computer just to make sure that everything has been removed. But it does look like everything is tip top now. So many thanks for watching guys. I hope you found this tutorial useful. I'll leave a link to the cloud cleaner tool so that you can download it on Mac OS or Windows. And I'll leave a link to Revo and IOBit uninstall it as well. It's actually not their fault that they don't work. They're good apps, but unfortunately because of the way that Adobe uh, prevents applications from being removed, you kind of have to go down the route of using their official cleaner tool. So I hope you found it useful. And until next time, guys, take care.